Oh, hey, good morning. Good morning, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. I just came to, to let you know that um that Auntie has some good news. I really do. The um the little mama and Radder and Dorme videos, they is going viral over there on Instagram. <laughs> yes, they are. And thanks to all my auntie babies and boogie woogies, y'all is going viral right down with auntie. Yes, they love they love the videos over there on Instagram. They've been watching and auntie put uh, drop one, and less than um less than an hour it had three thousand views, and it's rapidly it is growing, it's growing and growing, and I want. I want to thank all my Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies for the support and believing in Auntie because y'all love those videos. The Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies over there on Instagram love them even more. <laughs> so I thank Dora May, Little Mama, Radda, Big Mama. They're going to be a popular thing over there on Instagram. And I am so excited. And I couldn't have did it without my Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. But anyway, Auntie just wanted to come on to tell you, finish telling you about the um, surrogation when I was uh, going to the sixth and seventh grade. And the um, white kids, they had to go to school with us then. They had to go to school with us. But you know, over to the black school, man, they had so many white teachers. See, it wasn't like that when I was in fifth grade. There was no black teachers over there, but Miss Ford, you know, I told y'all what happened to her. But when they came to high school, they made sure they had white teachers everywhere. They made sure they made the other, the uh, other group of people. They didn't feel no type of way because they felt right at home, you know. And everybody, you know, mixed in and, and tried to blend in. And then so first and sixth and seventh grade. You know, we had got used to each other by, you know, during the fifth grade period. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. You know, um it still used to be some some kind of tension, but it really it really wasn't that bad. So, you know, we we got along pretty well because they had a lot of protection, you know. I don't know why, but they had they had the security boost up at the black school, and they didn't have that like that at the white school. And like I say, uh, it were barely any black teachers there. You know, just a few, because you know what happened to a lot of them, and they felt right at home. You know, they they just they didn't feel like they um nothing changed for them, but you know. It, but it still affected the black kids because, you know, we was used to seeing, you know, that was a long time. But we still were used to seeing our black teachers and still having our black. But the cooks, they stayed black in the lunchroom and stuff. Uh, they made sure they um, kept kept the same cooks out there to the, um, out in the middle of school and stuff. and And so... It wasn't quite that bad, but we did have a um, black principal. A black principal did not believe in um, black girls should wear braids in their hair. If he caught you with braids, he made you take the braids down. This is this is true, Mister Mickens, and he would tell you, "Do not come to school." with braids in your hair. I don't know what that meant, why we couldn't wear braids. And one day I went to school with some braids in my hair. And he he found me a hair comb and he told me, he said, you take every last one of those braids out your hair. I don't know why Mr. Mickens, and this is a true story, <clears throat> Why he did not want the black women to wear braids? Because it say it made us look like that we was back in Africa. I never could understand that part. And I just cried. And he said, I, he said, I don't care nothing about you crying. 
I told you, you don't wear braids at my school. You don't come to my school with braids. Don't you see you walking around here with all these white people? And, and look at you. Look at you. Look how you look with those braids on your hair. We was not allowed to wear braids, and that's the part I never could understand about Mr. Mickens. He was a good man and everything, I assume. But that part that we could not wear no braids, I never, I never will understand that. I never will understand that, but he was the principal. And he did. We couldn't wear braids in the sixth and seventh grade because he said he was not going to allow that in our class, in, in his school. In his school. Because we were, we was looking like we was from African. And I always thought we was from Afri African. You know? So that's another one of the black history stories. You know, a lot of people probably saying, oh, she's sitting up there lying, but it's not true because anybody know Mr. Mickens and from Pasco County, they will tell you a black person. We could not wear braids. He did not allow braids in his school. He didn't want no braids in his school. And this is the part of, you know, the black history lesson, and this is some true stuff. This is one principle. He refused for black women to wear braids in their hair. So I just want to come out and just give y'all some more on um, some of this black history things that happened to R.T. back there in the 60s and the 70s and stuff like that. And, you know, <clears throat> because a lot of people don't know about things that went on. And that's what kind of controlling they had over us. You know, it was coming from our own race. You know, they had, some of them got ignorant too. But now you see women wear braids all the time, but he just, he just didn't like it. So he was the principal, you know. We had to do what he said, but this is true. We could not wear braids in our hair. But anyway, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, I hope y'all enjoy these little short stories. And thank y'all. We is going viral over there on Instagram, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, with Lil Mama and Dora May and Radha. And, you know, I hope we continue to keep going viral. So thanks for all y'all's support. Anyway, um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends. Bye, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Love y'all.